uh, I, I read up a little bit about you and I realised that a lot of your previous uh, films actually dealt with topics of sex, <laughs> porn, gore, blood, <laughs> spirits. <laughs> so I wonder if you have an obsession with uh, this sort of stuff, you know. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Uh, in the short films that I've done, yes. there's only one horror okay, short film. Horror, horror yeah, but the rest okay. of them are all okay. comedy. Yes. About porn, is alright. Oh yes, there's yeah. one about uh, it's called My Blue Heaven about a little boy who watches videotape and it got yeah. stuck, uh-huh. and then uh, the father's on the way home. It got R21, but there's no there's no sex, there's no nudity, there's yeah. no. Uh, it's purely because of content. It got R21. Okay. Yeah. yeah so you dealt uh, with it subtly. Yeah, yeah. I I guess huh? the, the thing is I I couldn't uh, get it uh, screened very, but in some of the local film festivals, people who have caught it, they they. They they like it lah, so I'm I, I'm I'm grateful for that. Uh, but uh, I've, I I thought sex is part of life, you know, and uh, I wouldn't say it's taboo, mm-hmm. but I would say as long as you uh, treat it respectfully yeah. and uh, go with it with a with a with a angle that uh, with a sense of humor lah. So we need to we need to relax as Singaporeans. I think yeah, I we were a little bit too uptight, you know. No, no. It's to. definitely not taboo, but do you have a obsession with it? Do you, do you, do you like strongly have, have a strong preference for this sort of topic? Not really, but the thing is, I, I, I deal with it as from a perspective. Of, I always like to put myself like say, if I'm in this kind of situation, what are the fears? You know, I'm, I, for me, that film dealt with the fears when I was young. You know, oh, if you're caught watching this kind of thing, what would happen? And so, ah, then for this movie... What if you're in your sister's body and you're a cop? Would you do what you do? Ah, you know, so I, I like to come up with interesting scenarios and put them... It's almost like building a playground and then putting little hamsters in it and say, ah, how would they react to the whole situation, you see? Yeah. It's not so hu- So I, I see actually we humans as, uh, as basically in this... This whole earth is a playground where every day we encounter situations where we find it, how am I going to react to this kind of situation? Because when you when you like um, start out as a director, you want to deal with topics that are closest to your heart, yeah, yeah who touches you the most. So I, I, I thought you might, you know. That's why um, you're dealing with the sex and porn. But actually, almost all of my short films, yeah. uh, I would say the consistent thing is not really sex and porn. It's actually children. I have kids in almost every one of my short films. And I like to deal with how a little kid's relationship is with the adult. Let's see. Yeah. Were there kids in this film? I... This, which yeah, film? Yeah, Yeah, this little girl is 13 years, 15 years. 15 is not a kid, right? It, it's <laughs> still... Kid, it's, it's, children, yeah. But, I mean, relative to the brother. Okay. She is a teenager, a young girl, you know. Okay. A, a young girl who, um, by all means, come on, it's illegal to have sex at her age. So mm. it's a kid. You know, that's the way I see it. Okay. Of course, teenagers these days are a lot more mature than uh, the kids uh, from the past. uh. Mm -hmm. Uh, But still, children has a certain innocence that I feel is is very beautiful. All of us are very beautiful Mm -hmm. when we are young. And you realize that as we grow older, we lose that innocence Mm -hmm. and we lose that beauty in us. It is. It, it, so it, it is. Reclaim the innocence. Uh, I wouldn't say want to reclaim the innocence. Mm-hmm. I find that innocence a very beautiful thing to be portrayed on film. So yeah. You have a split personality <laughs> because you look really refined and you know. I'm, I'm, I'm a Gemini. Maybe I do. <laughs> so you do have a split personality. Tell us about your other side that we don't know. No, but you see, I find film as an avenue uh, whereby I get to explore questions and situations which I cannot do in real life. Right, uh, you get the opportunity to ask questions mm-hmm. which might be taboo. You get to explore situations that in real life you can only mm-hmm. say, "Oh man, I don't want to be in that situation." But in film, you could hey, try it out. No, have a look. You see <laughs> what will happen when this happened. You know, okay. and and to me, it's it's, it's an adventure. Mm-hmm. It's an adventure that I get to go uh, without having to go through it in real life. Okay.